the AOSP extended this is a very very customizable and very very advanced ROM and you have seen me flash that particular ROM on a lot of different devices you have the Redmi 4A the Redmi Note 4 for that matter, I had flashed it on the Note 5 Pro as well, but I did not make a video on that. Now, that ROM has made its way to the OnePlus 6 codenamed Enchilada, and today's video is going to be a quick install and preview. We'll have a look at the initial bugs that are there. Yes, there are bugs in this particular ROM, and we will also have a look how usable this particular ROM is. But before we begin, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because, hey, we do awesome stuff with smartphones. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get flashing. All right, guys, welcome to another video. And this is about this particular ROM that you see over here. That is AOSP Extended. And this is the ROM page. Now, the long list that you see over here, of course, we are not going to go through it. That is the list of features that this particular ROM has. And uh, we are going to try this particular ROM today. It is just an install and preview that we are talking about. So let's quickly go ahead and install this ROM and let's see what major bugs are there or are there any major bugs at all or not. For now, we are on Oxygen OS 5.1.9 with TWRP 3.2.3. And what I've done here is I have copied the ROM, the G apps, Majisk and TWRP installer, four files that are required into the phone's internal memory. At the same time, it's very essential that you go ahead and copy all your data, you back up all your data and you make sure that there is more than 50% battery so that we can have a successful flash. So the first thing to do here is of course, press and hold the power menu and if you have advanced power menu enabled just go to reboot and then go to recovery now remember this is an install and preview so this will be a relatively short video a full review of this rom should be coming up soon as well recently i posted a full review for liquid remix which i think a lot of you guys have liked the next full review will be about havoc os which is my daily driver these days as you can see we are in twrp okay so the first thing to do here is to go to wipe, advanced wipe, and we'll wipe Dalvik system data. We won't be wiping internal storage, of course. So swipe to wipe. All right. Now, once the wipe is complete, the first thing to do here is to go ahead and install the ROM itself. So this ROM is dated 11th of August, the, one of the latest releases. So swipe to confirm flash. Now, as always, this flash will take anywhere between two to five minutes. So please be patient and wait for the ROM to flash. And off lately, the flashing procedure for almost all custom ROMs on the OnePlus 6 is the same, which are AOSP based, is you have to first flash the ROM, then the recovery zip, then reboot into recovery and flash G apps and Majisk so that you have the best of both worlds. All right, so as you can see over here, the ROM is now flashed. So let's go to the home screen. Let's then go to install and let's install TWRP installer. Now wait for the TWRP installer to be flashed. All right, so now that TWRP installer is flashed as well, let's go to reboot and let's tap recovery and swipe to reboot. Now you would notice that the phone would reboot into recovery and then we will flash open Google Apps and Majisk and then the ROM should be good to go. Okay, looks like we are back in recovery here. So let's go to install and let's flash open G Apps. Again, Open G apps will take some time to flash, so please be patient while that happens. Okay, now as you can see, Open G apps is flashed, so let's go to install and let's flash Majisk. Now, we need to be careful that we need to flash Majisk 16.7 over here. There we go. Now, once Majisk is flashed, there's nothing much we need to do. We just need to go ahead and do a reboot so that we can boot into the ROM and we can have a look how good or how bad. It won't be bad, I'm sure, but how good does the USB extended look on the OnePlus 6? All right, there we go. So let's go to reboot system and do not install. Now, the first boot, as always, will take anywhere between two to five minutes. So please be patient while that happens. And as always, we have a tradition at 
smartphone tutorials will wait for the beautiful boot animation of AOSP Extended. Okay, there we have it. The boot animation for this particular ROM looks very, very modern and advanced. So let's wait for the ROM to boot up. All right, now we have skipped through the setup and we are on the home screen and you can see those icons jumping up asking us to go to the app drawer. And once you go to the app drawer, you would notice that this is once again a ROM which is very, very minimalistic. But if you would notice, we have a common trend across a lot of custom ROMs for the OnePlus 6 is that the stock Oxygen OS camera is available over here as well. So that is something brilliant and uh, Yes, one more thing, you don't have portrait mode on the front camera, which is a common thing across all ROMs. Now, that was something about the camera, but we are here for this particular ROM and we are here to check out all the wonderful features that AEX has to offer. And looks like we'll have a competition between Liquid Remix and this one. However, Havoc OS, don't forget that particular ROM because that ROM is pretty, pretty brilliant. I'm in touch with that developer and he claims to have improved the camera quality further. The full review of Havoc OS should be a lot of fun. Nonetheless, we are not here for Havoc OS. So if you go to the app drawer, we have pretty, pretty basic apps. You have the wallpaper app from AOSP Extended. Of course, you have Majisk that we installed and you have a music application by them. So what we should do here is dive into settings because that is something that we usually check and you would see that this particular ROM has a blacked out user interface. Now when we boot it up it had white UI which is something I don't really like so I switched to black. Now if you look at the sub settings menu you have very very similar items over here but if we go to extensions now this is something like liquid remix which is a customization menu. Now, if you dive into this particular option over here, you would notice that you have status bar, notifications, panel, navigation, recents, lock screen and system. Of course, you don't have as much customization as some other ROMs. But then again, I would like to confirm that basic things like voice over LTE, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything else is working just fine. The camera works just fine. So yes, this is definitely usable as a daily driver. But let's have a look at the customization options over here. So if you go to status bar, you have status bar items so these are the items you can add or remove apart from that you have clock and date that you can customize and uh, battery style of course yes you can keep it hidden so that you just keep it as a text maybe yeah now you would see that one common trend with all the custom ROMs for the OnePlus 6 based on Android 8.1 is that they do not support the notch and some icons get hidden so what I usually do is I go to the clock customization option and I keep the alignment to the left and this looks much much better moving forward you have traffic indicators carrier label all the usual customization options you have miscellaneous extensions in which you can go ahead and enable or disable these sorts of things so this is definitely a very very welcome addition and if you go to notification panel you can customize the quick settings you can customize your notifications you have heads up status bar ticker you have vibrate on connect waiting and disconnect you can change the battery charging light and stuff next up we can go to navigation and uh, you do have edge gestures which is something different compared to the stock oneplus navigation gestures you can customize your navigation bar you can select the stock aosp navigation bar or you can have a compact navigation bar you can have a left leaning navigation bar now these are all the options which are of course not available in stock roms and that is the reason they call this a custom rom going forward if you go to recents there's a ton of options to customize your recents you can choose to have the memory bar in recents as you can see over here you have a clear all button Apart from that, you can choose the layout. Next up, you have system customization in which you have general tweaks, animations, weather, buttons, app ops, and system apps remover. So if you go to general tweaks, you can see that you can have toast notifications, you can disable force closures, you can go ahead and launch the music app, three finger screenshot is there, wake lock blocker is there. Apart from that, if you go to animations, you do have Android P style animations, which I just have enabled. And you can choose what type of a transition animation you need whenever you do a particular action. Now, apart from this, you have weather customization. You do have buttons that you can customize what you can do with the power menu and stuff like that. And you have app ops and you have system apps remover as well. So the ROM is already de-bloated and you can further de-bloat it as well, which is a really, really good option. Now that was everything about the customization menu of AOSP Extended. But then again, you do have root management 
which does open my disk and if we dive into settings once again and if we go to say for that matter display under advanced you have a lot of options you have the ui style you can choose across a lot of different user interface options like the color you have extended ui you have chocolate ui wallpaper based and stuff like that so there are a few features here and there and if you go to accent color there's a ton of options from which you can choose the accent color and once again something that i really really liked in liquid remix even this rom allows you to change your font on the go which is really really neat for now we will switch back to roboto so that it is clearer to you guys so that was everything about the customization options and stuff like that and from the first impressions yes i would say this comes very very close to liquid remix which i did review a couple of days back um, I've not used this as a daily driver, but I will use it for a couple of days maybe and then depending on my usage and the personal experience that I have, I will definitely go ahead and review this particular ROM. Now in my installs and previews, this is the basic stuff that I usually cover. If there is something that I missed, please let me know in the comments section so that I can go ahead and cover that in the next install and preview. For now, this was the quick install and preview of AOSP Extended for the OnePlus 6. This is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Until the next one, guys, keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.